Yo, what's good basketball heads? It's your boy Crush. Let's talk about Dwayne Wade saying that Carmelo Anthony should have won co-rookie of the year alongside LeBron James. At minimum. To me personally, he was the rookie of the year. Melo got robbed. Simple. The NBA had plans for LeBron. You know, he was next in line, especially after the Kobe Bryant situation in Colorado. Rest Kobe soul. They were propping LeBron up. We can't have the next guy in line not win rookie of the year. That wouldn't look good. I mean, we're prepping this guy up as, you know, the next greatest player. How would it look if the next best thing lose rookie of the year? So they rob Melo to boost LeBron up. Everybody know this. Dwayne Wade is saying they should have shared co-rookie of the year. But deep down in Wade's soul, he knows Melo was robbed. Melo took his team to the playoff two years in a row, two seasons straight. Him and LeBron had similar numbers, but Melo had slightly better numbers. And he took his team to the playoff in the West two seasons in a row. Tell me how is it possible this man lose Rookie of the Year? When have you ever seen a player lose Rookie of the Year after taking their team to the playoff? When? LeBron missed the playoff two years straight. Melo made the playoff on a Denver team in the West, and they wasn't great. So how is it possible that Melo lost the Rookie of the Year? Because the NBA had plans for LeBron. And even if that meant screwing Melo, so be it. And the NBA has been screwing Melo ever since. Like, the man never won a championship. And it's alright. The least he should have won is the Rookie of the Year. At least he would have had that you know, in his bag. He could have said, you know what, I was the Rookie of the Year. But the NBA would not allow that to happen. LeBron must win Rookie of the Year. We think this guy is the next greatest thing, and we have to make sure he get the Rookie of the Year. So they screwed Melo over. And if you watch basketball during that time, that period, you know what's up, man. Melo got robbed. So this is Wade indirectly saying Melo got robbed. Dwayne Wade is great friends with LeBron and Carmelo, so of course he's not going to choose sides. He's going to play neutral. But deep down, Wade knows Melo got robbed, as do most NBA fans who know the game. Melo got robbed. So they robbed Melo, sacrificed Melo for LeBron. Even LeBron knows it. He might not say it, but he knows it. He did not deserve that Rookie of the Year over Melo. How? Melo took his team to the playoff. You will never see that again. Where one player took his team to the playoff, they have similar numbers, and the player that went to the playoff lost the Rookie of the Year? How is that possible? This is one of the biggest robberies in NBA history. I mean, no one talks about it much, but come on, man. That's crazy. If you follow Melo's career, you know, he's not one to really talk about things. You know, he's pretty laid back. As his name suggests, he's a real Melo dude. But the 2003 Rookie of the Year, the race was close. It was a close race. But what edges out Melo over LeBron was the fact that Melo made the playoff. That was and should have been the deciding factor in who won the Rookie of the Year. They have similar numbers. Okay, one player made the playoff. He's the rookie of the year. It wasn't hard, but the NBA wasn't going to allow that. We have plans for LeBron, and we can't allow anything or anyone to come in between our plans. So they screwed my boy Carmelo. So Dwayne said, it's an argument. So Dwayne said, at least they should have been co-rookie of the year. The same way Grant Hill and Jason Kidd was co-rookie of the year. And to me, that's minimum. So Wade said Melo had an argument then, and he have an argument now. So Wade said, I'm not taking nothing away from LeBron, but look what Melo did over there in the Western Conference. I know this is an age-old situation. You know, it's an age-old conversation, but you got to call it for what it is, man. Everybody knows it. 
Melo should have won the rookie of the year, man. That man got robbed. That man was done dirty. It's unfortunate that Melo came into the NBA the same time as LeBron. Somebody had to be sacrificed. Someone had to be sacrificed. And that person was Melo. Melo got sacrificed for LeBron. Wade also said how Carmelo Anthony was perceived by the NBA back then played a role in the decision. You know, he wear do-rags. I guess they probably perceive him as maybe he's a thug, you know, whatever the case may be. He said that played a role in why LeBron won the Rookie of the Year over Carmelo. And this is coming from Dwayne Wade. So, you know, there's no bias. You know, there's no choosing sides. That's his brother. So, you know, he's neutral. The man is just speaking the truth, man. Melo got robbed. I knew it back then and I knew it now. Carmelo Anthony was robbed by the NBA. Screw all that co-rookie of the year nonsense. Melo was the rookie of the year. Point blank, period. Screw all this co They should know, no, no. What factors do you use to decide the rookie of the year? You look at their stats through the season, right? And you also factor in playoff. Did they make the playoff? That is a big factor in deciding who will win the rookie of the year. And normally, most of the times, the rookie that made the playoff had a huge impact, wins the rookie of the year. That's how it usually goes. But unfortunately for Melo, that wasn't the case. There was a shift in history. So here are the stats for LeBron and Carmelo in their rookie season. LeBron finished the season with 20.9 points per game, 5.5 rebound, 5.9 assists, 1.6 steals, and 0.7 blocks. On the other hand, Carmelo finished the season with 21 points per game, 6.1 rebound, 2.8 assists, 1.2 steal, and 0.5 blocks. Apart from LeBron nudging Carmelo in the assist game, your numbers are identical. So the deciding factor should be who made the playoff, which team did better. And that is evident. So why did Lamelo lose? You tell me. So while LeBron was at home watching the playoff, Carmelo as a rookie was carrying his team trying to compete in the playoff. And the man lost the rookie of the year? Now that's crazy. Even though Melo never won Rookie of the Year, in the eyes of most fans who actually knows the game and they're not a LeBron fanboy, that man deserved the Rookie of the Year. He is the Rookie of the Year. He's the unofficial Rookie of the Year. He got robbed, man. But as always, I'll holla. As always, we just talking basketball. Hit the subscribe button, like, comment, Share, holla at your boy. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about the game, I'ma say it. It's all about the game.